The following podcast is fan-made and in no way associated with Steam, Valve Corporation, or your mother. Also, it contains highly explicit language, so get the fuck out if you don't want to hear it. You're listening to the Late Night Steamer podcast, Steam Gaming, with character. All right, everybody, it's time for the Late Night Steamer Podcast! I'd say part of a network, but nobody wants us. Nobody really wants us. Anyway, uh, we have a special announcement. The streak has been broken. This episode uh, will not be submitted to Valve, uh, and it ends tonight by Bork Laser. So, nobody. That's, yes. I think right that was a very, there, uh, yes. that's a small niche of a joke there. Anyway, it's season four, episode 86, <laughs> recorded live on Saturday, April yep. 12th of 2014. I am Survivor 4580. With me this week is Linux for Life. What's up, motherfuckers? I want to apologize in advance. I know. <laughs> and, of course, a man who is just too large for this show, DJ Pimp Daddy. In more ways than one. <laughs> is that a height joke? <laughs> <laughs> you are terrible people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Little, so we have a... So we don't have a sponsor this week. We don't have a sponsor this week. Couldn't be bothered. So, uh, hey, Linux, why don't you run us through? For those of you listening to the show on our Twitch archive or on YouTube, because those are the only two places you'll ever fucking find us now, join our next <laughs> live stream over at twitch.tv slash late night steamer every Saturday night at 11 p.m. Eastern, 10 p.m. Central for live giveaways, group discussion, and... What the fuck? Splunking. 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 Do you you don't know what splunking is? You put is? a fucking hat on. You put a hat on with a light, and then you go down and up in a cave and. It's Minecraft, basically. It's Minecraft, basically. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Get a dictionary. Go like learn it. stuff. Good god! I do learn stuff. <laughs> I learn how to put my. Dick I do want to. Butthole. That is just gross. Right now, I want to point that out that uh, here at Late Night Steamer, we take your security serious. So when we heard about Heartbleed, I did the best thing we could do to make sure you, your passwords were safe on the Geek Insomnia forums. I deleted the entire server. <laughs> That's gone. Best That's... form. Of... Your passwords are safe with us. Your passwords Don't have to worry about that. are completely safe. <laughs> no Heartbleed here. You're all welcome. Cheers. Heartbleed. It sounds like an emo fucking band. <laughs> we're, we're heartbleed. <laughs> Dude, we're let's go sing up the a street. Song. Heartbleed's playing. Heartbleed Who's is totally playing. The shitty Beatles. Do the they wail? Be- no, they suck. <laughs> ah, so it's not a catchy name. No, it's not an ironic name. So, uh, so DJ, uh, last night I played real uh, life sim. I played real life simulator. I, and I know you two will get a laugh out of this, right? So, I take my boys camping. And my wife shows up late, and I'm trying to, like, start a campfire. Oh, God. Two little, you know, shits that don't know how to do anything and won't listen to you. Like, you're just <laughs> running around hitting each other with sticks, right? And I'm sitting here just trying to make some kindling for the campfire, because I'm a Boy Scout. You know, I, I know how to, you got to fucking get little sticks and make bigger sticks and put them in a pile, right? Yeah, and I'm wailing bad. on this thing with a hatchet, and... This noise it's making as I'm wailing on this log with a hatchet is the same fucking sound from Rust. And I'm sitting here just like wailing on this thing. And I'm like, I'm playing, I'm playing Rust. What the fuck? <laughs> and then I stop like mid swing and I look over at my wife and I'm like, You want some crack? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> crack baby. It always comes back to crack baby. And she didn't get it. And then she's like, Why are you holding a hatchet? And I'm like, Yeah. You got anything in your backpack I need? So, yeah. <laughs> so, that, that was my real You're going to bandit your wife. <laughs> wow. Wow. You know what's you funny? Crack. Uh, <laughs> if I could find a picture of it. Uh, there's a there's a red line station or a train station on uh, here in Chicago. Uh, with It's for Wilson, uh, the uh, avenue. 
And there's a, for some reason, there's the main platform, and then there's this secondary platform that's not used for anything. Uh, and <laughs> basically, it kind of looks like it's a bunch of wooden foundations with uh, pillars going up. But there's no use <laughs> for the actual, that, that side of the station at all. And there's no pictures of this, unfortunately. Uh, oh, dang it. I'll have to take a picture of it. I'll put it on our uh, our Twitter account. I'm sensing a real life adventure with a phone and a camera phone or something. Yeah, <laughs> something like that. Damn. Yeah, there's no pictures. You probably of it. could buy some crack there. Pro oh no, actually, it's it's hood, dude. It's hood. Like mm. it when Axl Rose said, "Welcome to the jungle." This is exactly what he was talking about when he sang that song. <laughs> it is. It's jungle, That's dude. Racist. Okay. <laughs> It's not racist. How is it racist? <laughs> it's not racist. I didn't say where the jungle is. I'm just saying. Anyway. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, according to chat, uh, Cronus says that uh, we should use the has hashtag professionalism. Yeah, okay. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, Ricky <laughs> says that I should do the death metal version of it now. So for for Ricky's sake, anyway. Now that that's done. <laughs> <laughs> it was funny actually. Um, he might have listened to that show. I was on ADD Radio on Monday uh, last mm -hmm. week, and uh, first off, it was funny because he asked me to come to the show. A guy named Twan. He runs it. Uh, he. Uh, He's like, oh, yeah, just stop by. It'll be great. And I stop by the studio, and it's, like, full. Everyone's, like, already got a mic and shit. I'm like, you don't need me, do you? I, I can go home if you want. He's like, no, 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 we'll bring you in halfway through. So I, I get to listen to the first half of the show, and they're talking about diabetes. And the, the only thing that I'm thinking in my head is, mm, if you got diabetes, you need to get yourself tested. <laughs> And, this, and I'm thinking in my head, man, this is so. Gr I'm so glad I'm in the second half of the show and not the first half because I cannot contain myself when it comes to these kind of jokes. So thankfully, I get in on the second half. They they stopped talking about diabetes. I think the people that were there to talk about it they left, um, and it was just me, Twan, and Haley, and oh God, I forget his name, but he was a real cool dude. And we ended up talking about wrestling and death metal, and I don't exactly know how that came to be, but. Uh, I did my death metal voice for a few things, and, and all of a sudden they're like, oh my god, that's so cool. And it became apparent to me that mm -hmm. when I do ADD radio, it's not because I want to do radio shows. It's because I want to feel better about myself. <laughs> <laughs> that, it's like, they like me. They really like me. Versus you guys here, you're like, we tolerate you because you're willing to host this piece of shit. Um, so, anyway... <laughs> so, moving on uh, to Steam Roulette, let's go ahead and get the uh, Steam Roulette screen up here if it will Has let me. Steam this. Roulette! Yeah, I don't know why it won't Speaking show. Speaking of uh, Steam Roulette, like... it won't mm -hmm. show. So, uh, the rules are you're rolling go. three times. Yes. And between us and chat, chat has to vote. And out of the three games, you get to vote which one we're all going to play. Oh, who the fuck cares about chat, man? Jesus Christ. <laughs> I know. Well, that I know. mentality, man, we'll <laughs> definitely no... not be able to... We're, We're never like going to get fans. behind us. <laughs> Assault Flora says... Okay, so then... Shit, after the show, I made it. After the show, you're going to be playing it. this game. Welcome, sir. Welcome. Oh, Assault gotta... Flores is back in chat. Yes! I like Assault Flores. He's awesome. Cronus <laughs> says, I vote f number four. Vote number four. <laughs> Don't play a game at all. <laughs> Screw you guys. Not playing a game. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and start the spinning. Uh, let's go ahead and get that going. For the first game, it is Sin Multiplayer. So this will just say Sin Single Player because I'm not playing multiplayer games. Um, <laughs> so we got Sin Episodes. Lord of the Rings, War in the North. <laughs> and... Uh, <laughs> Multiplayer, <laughs> that fucker. Uh, I, I that just said I don't do multiplayer. Dark Fall, Lost Souls. All right, so that means oh, we got six episodes. Uh, Lord of the <laughs> Rings, War of the North, which for some reason I keep thinking of Game of Thrones, King of the North. Um, which I love that show, by the way. I would totally quit the show to do it. Winter's uh, coming. Winter is coming. 
Um, I would totally quit this show to do a Game of Thrones <laughs> podcast. I'm just letting you guys know right now. <laughs> Fuck you guys. Game of Thrones is awesome. And of course, uh, Dark Fall Lost Souls. So uh, chat, let me know what you guys want to see me uh, play. And uh, what DJ did not say is, is that this will be considered an after party. So we're actually going to stop the stream and then restart it with the game instead of trying to do it mid-show like we did before. And uh, that always ended terribly. So... Uh, DJ, what do you what do you want to see? Um, I think I I mistook Dark Falls as uh, that other one that really beats you in the ass. What's what's uh, oh uh, Dark Dark Souls? I think it is or uh, Dark Souls. Yeah, yeah, that's where I was wrong. So no, it's, no, it's, it's not the same. I was like, <laughs> oh fuck yeah, I gotta watch this shit. <laughs> no, unfortunately, it's not that game. I'd rather do okay, that game. I'm, but... Okay, I'm gonna go with Dark Falls only because I know that the beginning of the the Lord of the Rings game is painfully slow. Okay. Yeah, so thank watching you. you play the intro levels of that, it will suck balls. So. I really, yeah. If I, I, I want to veto it to be honest, because I just I don't want to do Lord of the Rings because we'll be here for days, <laughs> days. Anyone agree with that veto? Can I pick <laughs> a different game? Spin Linux. Spin again. Spin again. Okay. All right. Well, we're gonna go ahead and, and we're gonna spin uh, a replacement for. Oh no no it's wrong one wrong one do nothing there we go uh, do nothing do nothing all right so for the, to replace it super meat boy oh shit <laughs> oh well, boy. we know which one's gonna win now super <laughs> meat boy all right so DJ I'll, I'll allow you to replace your vote if you want since I'll we switched the game up with, I'll still go with the dark falls dark falls I'll, I'll, okay you know, we'll, we'll go I, I I have no idea what that game is so okay cool uh, Linux what do you want to see. I own it, apparently. <laughs> what was that? What was the first one? Sin Emergence. Uh, or Sin Episodes, I think it's technically called. Uh, it's like a first-person shooter built in a source engine. So. Super Meat Boy. Super Meat Boy? Okay. All right. Uh, <laughs> Lost Souls for Ricky. Super Meat Boy, you got to do it on like, the hardest difficulty, though. Well, I, I, there is no difficulty settings for that. It's It's pretty much all hard, isn't it? I don't know. I haven't played it myself, to be honest. <laughs> okay. I own it. Okay, Cronus like, is Super Meat else. Boy. He, he's got one for Super Meat Boy yeah, as Cronus well. Is... All right, so we technically have two for... I got uh... the... Oh, Ricky switched his vote over to Super Meat Boy, so it looks Meat like Boy. it's going to be Super Meat Boy then. All right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let me see if I have that installed. If not, it's I'm going to have it installed still. I, dude, I fucking raged yeah. that game a long There's time this, ago. Uh... There's this guy I follow on Twitter called Terror Terror Squirrel, uh-huh. and uh, he he put up that he's going to be streaming him <laughs> trying to beat his entire backlog of video games that he hasn't beaten yet. Mm-hmm. And I I just looked at his profile and he has 108 games on Steam. I'm like, and literally my first thought was that's cute. Yeah. <laughs> How many times? How many times has DJ tried starting that series back up? hundred days. Right? hundred days. Hey, uh, Assault Flora <laughs> says you notice that there is no Super Vegetarian Boy. Uh, actually, there's Super Tofu Boy, uh, made by PETA. <laughs> oh yeah, was that the PETA? Game? Yeah, that, that that's the PETA game. That's the PETA <laughs> game. And it's awful too. I mean, even the story is just so. Oh, Super Meat Boy is such a jerk because he's meat and he beats up on Bandage Girl. It's like, what? <laughs> it's some pretty stupid stuff. So. Nice. I wonder how Sega is going to mess that up, though. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It's PETA, so. Tofu gives you man boobs. I agree with that. Um, so, <laughs> let's... Uh... Yeah, that is true. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, hey, hey, Linux. Linux, why don't we move on? Evening pile of news. What's up? You're doing your job. Keep going, brother. Evening pile of news! All right, so the news topics that we have, or uh, let me phrase that. For once in my life, you did work. Did work and filled the dock. So I actually picked these two stories to talk about. Um, Both fairly interesting. Um, So GameSpy shutting down, quote unquote, affecting a ton of older but some good games that are still heavily played. Um, Yeah. This is going to be interesting now i think somebody just pasted the 
Reddit link somewhere along the line. Yeah, um, it's right under it. You did no, I thought so. I think somebody highlighted it. Oh, I, I, I clicked on it. it in, uh, oh, no, no, just, oh, I'll put chat. it in chat. Yeah, I'll put it in chat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll do it. Um, Scott Ke Kev Kevil is actually all over Reddit and all over some of the news sites talking about his. He's a developer of Game Ranger. Um, you know, pretty much saying, even though GameSpy is shutting down, there's an alternative. Um, so GameSpy, if you don't know what it is, GameSpy actually is an older engine that controlled a lot of multiplayer aspects of these of, <laughs> of games. Um, I don't know. I it's a huge list of games. I don't. Yeah, I got the list up oh, here. God, if you yeah. want me to run at I least literally started a few looking of them at off. it. I'm like, right away, I was like, Arma 2. And I was like, oh, yeah, okay, Bohemian. <laughs> Apparently, they're switching it over to Steam. Okay, that makes sense. What? What? Where do you see what? Steam at? Uh, no, it, it, okay, it, you look at the thing and it says Arma and Arma Sports and blah, blah, blah. But then there's a company statement from Bohemian Interactive. It says they're planning to introduce an alternate solution using Steam instead of. Game Spy. So basically, uh, okay. if you, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Yeah. It, yeah I'll, I'll, basically, what I gather just really quickly from this list is the really big IPs like Saints Row 2, Arma, stuff like that, uh, any of the Activision or the Capcom titles, it looks like a lot of them are sort of, since they're backed by gigantic companies they're they're migrating their stuff to other services basically there'll be you know game patches and shit unless yeah. you bought it right from the company then you're fucked because <laughs> so, you can't download the patches online Steam. or anything like that yeah ever no. in fact actually most modern games have a built-in patch system so so yeah, yeah I'm, I'm sure it'll be fine uh a lot EA. of go ahead <laughs> EA has also, they come out and they don't have any definite answer, but they did say some of their games, they are going they are going to figure a way to update, um, such as Battlefield 1942, um, yeah. Battlefield 2, yeah. some of those older games that people still play, like, religiously. <laughs> I guess running down the list, the big ones I see, they got the Arma series, Borderlands, Crisis 1 and 2, Saints Row, Take on Helicopters, fuck! Oh. Civilization <laughs> is on that list, and Civilization's a yeah, pretty big game. Civilization's 3 and 4, yeah, Jagged Alliance, Medal of Honor series, Need for Speed series, Postal 2, shit, yeah. Red Dead Redemption, that actually does suck, I, that's a really good game, but I don't think I've ever played a multiplayer uh, the Tom That's... Clancy series and uh, <laughs> yeah. Warhammer 40k. <laughs> Call of Duty 2. Shit! Okay, I'm just giving up on the internet. Fuck this shit. Call of Duty 2. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm back. Um, um, yeah, it's, a, it's obviously a lot of older games. I don't know of any newer game that used GameSpy, to be honest. <laughs> There's oh. a newer one on this list, Multilinea. That came out like two years ago, I think. That was an indie game. Yeah, but I mean, GameSpot's been around that for sucks. a long time. Yeah. Uh, Leopard Keeper says that GameSpot used to be named uh, M Player and used to, uh, and also had an early competitor named Heat, and he used both of those in their early iterations. I actually remember both of those, and I also kind of date you a little further on that Leopard Keeper. I remember a service named Ten, which used to have Shadow Warrior and Duke Nukem 3D on it. So yeah, I I hear you on that. I I've I've been there. The, uh, the old uh, Neverwinter Nights, uh, the multiplayer was actually through GameSpy servers originally. Oh yeah. Um, and then recently, if you buy it through Gog, if you buy it through Gog, Gog actually links you to an article where you could hack it and sort of link it to this like rogue third party service that's somebody's running out of their basement that seems to be better. Sounds about right. Mm. <laughs> well, but, and that's go ahead. That's Gog. So with GameSpy shutting down, this this Scott guy that is a developer of a, a program called Game Ranger, um, that basically you can play these multi, some of these multiplayer games through. Not all of them are supported right now, um, but with this announcement, he's trying to get as much as he can supported on the back end. But it's a it's a separate program. You got to download. You got to run it before running the game. 
um, and then it hooks into the game somehow. I don't know exactly how it works. I didn't read too far into it. Um, Give him wall hacks and, you know, single shots. <laughs> yeah, buddy! <laughs> well, and that's, you know, how... I'm glad we're helping Scott with his project. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Is this like I don't like some obviously the big guys are gonna you know find you know patch their games that are played a lot by their fans. Uh, some of the other games will probably be just throw thrown away because for them it doesn't matter because it's not you know the the numbers aren't there to support writing a patch into the game. Um, but yeah, that is very true. What? I mean, but this is, like, I don't know. Are these big companies nowadays, like, still um, relying on, like, things like GameSpy and stuff like that? Well, or are they writing was, their own things? GameSpy is a pretty, I mean, it was at least at some point a really big service. I mean, I remember I actually had an account directly through GameSpy, which, by the way, was General Smokepot. I fucked you guys up in Quake. Just saying. Uh, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Quake 2, motherfuckers. <laughs> I was, I was sick. Dude, I was sick with the real gun, let me tell you. Uh, anyway. Um, but no, I mean, GameSpy was pretty pretty big as far as uh, offering availability to people. I think um, a, a game that I don't think is on this list, but I think it actually does use GameSpy, is uh, Halo PC. I think Halo mm. PC uses mm. GameSpy as well, and that's not on this list at all. And if that's the case, that well, sucks because I love playing Halo PC. Th- well, here's the thing: there's, there, like, I know Neverwinter Nights used GameSpy, but they shut down the GameSpy servers like years ago. Oh, yeah. So there's stuff that's on this list, or there's stuff that's not on this list that has already been affected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Know, well, that, GameSpy it, did it, that. It really is one of those things where people just move on. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, GameSpy has to it's do that business. just to keep it going, yeah. Um, there was another game that I, I used to play that was on uh, the GameSpy servers, and it's on it's in Steam, actually, and they, they shut that off a long time ago. It was a Dungeons & Dragons game, uh, Daggerdale. Yep. Dungeons & Dragons Daggerdale uh, used uh, GameSpy, and they have long since disconnected that, which really sucks, because if you're into, like, the Boulder's Gate type of gameplay... Uh, mm. If you like a lot of those, uh, you know, four-player gauntlet style, the warrior has shot the food type of thing. It was perfect for that. It was, it was a really great game. Um, but I think that as time progresses, this is something that we'll always see in the gaming industry. As time progresses, these companies phase out, and you'll see replacements for them. And this is just a simple case of that. I mean, GameSpy has now bit the bucket, and yeah. you're going to have other services that will be more than happy to pick it up where it left off. And some of these games that are on this list, I mean, Hexen uh, is on this list. I don't even yeah. remember Hexen ever having internet play, unless that's uh, part of the Doomsday engine. Um, Hexen 2. <laughs> Hexen 2. People still play that? Holy crap. I mean, it's just a lot of these games, I'm really surprised even still have a player base. And, you know, there's if as long as there is a community behind these games that want to play these games they'll find a way to do it. Even if they yeah. don't do it through GameSpy, if they don't do it through Game Ranger, who this uh, Scott Kevlin apparently works on, or Cavill, um, Kev- you know, there's, there's always going to be a replacement as long yeah. as there's a community behind it. So I think uh, in, in some cases, good riddance, fuck GameSpy. Uh, but in other ways, you know, hopefully people who really do love these games will find another service to play them on. Shadow yeah, Scythe yeah. is in the yeah. chat. Hey, Shadow Scythe, welcome. Fine. About time you fucking got here. <laughs> I, <laughs> well, he said, hey, fucks. I mean, yeah. guys. I suppose <laughs> it's the same thing. I can't remember what game off the top of my head it was, but it was on the 360 that I used to play that had dedicated servers. And as soon as those, as soon as soon the company dropped the dedicated servers, that was it. You know, you, can, you can't play it anymore. So it, it sucks... But I guess I understand at the same time, you know, yeah. you got to have some back end yeah. in, and whether it's a, you know a company like GameSpy or if it's you know the the uh, developer hosting their own servers, I guess at some point it doesn't well, make I'm, sense. I mean, besides, honestly, for me, besides Neverwinter Nights, 
the original. I've never had a game that I'm playing stop service. Mm. Did did any of you guys own like an original Xbox when they shut off the mm-hmm. Xbox Live for it? Yeah. yeah I mean, dude. Was it even worth owning the system at that point? For LAN games, yeah, because the Xbox still was very much supportive of the LAN environment. I mean, I remember uh, Halo 2, just to kind of throw an example out there. Uh, Halo 2, I I used to play quite a bit. I I don't remember if that had online support or not, but as far as LAN parties goes, oh my god, we had some heated LAN games on Halo 2 to the point where we started calling Halo 2 the friendship killer. Um, But I mean, (laughs) you look at some of the big titles, though... Uh, you look at the big titles on Xbox, uh, the original, um, Halo, obviously, uh, Brute Force. A, a lot of those had split screen or LAN support. Yeah. And there was even uh, services out there that basically allowed you to play online through using Xbox's LAN service. I remember I did yeah. that with uh, <laughs> Halo, the original one. Mm-hmm. Um, so, I mean, there, there's ways to go about that if you truly want to play it, but... I, you know, I'm also kind of curious now, because the more that I think about the situation, and I'm, I'm kind of going back to Halo PC, I, I probably sound like such a Halo fanboy right now, but oh well. Um, in, in Halo PC, GameSpy never actually hosted servers. GameSpy was responsible for matchmaking, but they didn't host the servers. The actual yeah, servers were hosted con- by communities. Con- yeah, I think, I think GameSpy is just mainly for the connection side, but... Uh, with that, with, with, if they shut down GameSpy, then there's no, no way to matchmake in most of these games. That's so crazy. You can't even, you can, so you can't even build that connection. Um, I see. I saw somebody had commented it on one of the articles I read about it. Um, that said, you know, basically said this is, you know, this is why we need that LAN <laughs> option still in some of these games. You know, that people like to play. Because you know they're tied into these services, and if service goes away like this, now now you can't even play that game, even through a LAN party at, on some some of them. Gotcha. All right, a couple comments in chat. Uh, Ricky says it's called getting all your friends in one room, get your crappy five megabyte an hour <laughs> Wi-Fi up, and LAN play it. Uh, let's see. Assault Floor says, uh, no doubt I remember packing PCs and ancient monitors into someone's basement for an all night Unreal Tournament match. Or, well, UT <laughs> tournament. I don't know why he's. Oh, I see. Unreal Tournament tournaments matches. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Awesome. So it's an Unreal, Unreal Tournament tournament tournament. 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 <laughs> I fucking tournament. love Unreal Tournament, by the way. That's a great game. Dude, I'd love to get somebody back oh. into that. <laughs> oh, dude. And up to the old school with Capture the Flag on face. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Fucking love Unreal Tournament. Um, it would probably take my life over again, though. Yeah. Uh, Assault Floor says, all <laughs> hail. Let's just play Major Mud on a BBS. <laughs> That'd be epic. <laughs> oh, man. If there was still muds around, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, I'm sure you could find some. I'm Yeah. Is there BBS? They're out there, man. And they are out there still. They're still... Man, no, no, no. I, I fucking... Oh, no. T- I tailnetted to a few uh, of those Tailnet. and oh my god. <laughs> no, 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 no. A few of the people that are playing those guys, you want to talk about like hardcore. The people that are left playing MUDs are so far beyond hardcore. Like they've just transcended to gods, you know? Yeah. So. Gotcha. <laughs> Let's go ahead and move on to the next article. All right. Uh, Borderlands 2 prequel? Question? Rumor has Question it that mark? we will get a new Borderlands that is a prequel to number two and well don't be so fast to throw out your 360 and ps3 as they will only be making it for the 360 ps3 and the pc so you uh fanboys that have upgraded well fuck yourselves you were shit out of luck no backwards compatibility (laughs) for you no backwards compatibility for you (laughs) Um, i'm actually that that is definitely a. I'm actually surprised that they're not gonna make it. I but have I a su- feeling that it's gonna be one of those things where like they'll have it for 360 and PS3, but then there'll just be such a huge demand that at some point they'll release like a, a PS4 and Xbox One HD version, you know, already HD remake, even though it's already HD in the first place. Um, but you know, yeah. it, it's possible. Can I just say now? Can we call this Borderlands 1.5? 
Yeah. It's essentially what <laughs> yeah, it is, right? right? It's it's border. It's in between Borderlands one and two. Uh, essentially, it has Handsome Jack as the star of the game, uh, yes. which is really awesome because he was actually the villain in Borderlands two. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I mean it, it's Borderlands one point five or one and a half. <laughs> you could go either way. Oh man. <laughs> If I could ever give you the links to 3k.org, it's the realms of despair. Like, um, I pulled it up and literally, I, I pulled it up and literally, I'm like, it says I already have this bookmarked somehow. <laughs> so, 2k no, isn't. I didn't recognize it. I didn't recognize it because they actually updated the website. <laughs> Just, <laughs> the people running the mud is actually they actually updated their website. <laughs> so crazy. But let's go back to Borderlands. So, ah. um, 2K has declined, obviously, to comment. Um, they're not saying anything about it at this point. Um, so it's only rumored at, but I got to expect that if it's for the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 that it's coming out this year. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think they said something about it in November. That's when it was supposed mm-hmm. to come out. Um, that would be about right for that game. Yeah. Because yeah. it it, you know, it's a AAA title series there, so you'd yeah, want it to I mean, come out right before the holidays. And it's going to have tons of DLC. Yeah. Because all Borderlands games have, like, ton of DLC. Ton, yeah. ton of DLC. So. Yeah. Still going to play Borderlands 2, man. <laughs> yeah. Borderlands, I still got to finish Borderlands 2. You and I should get a game going at some point. Um, you know, I think the, the most interesting aspect of this is the fact that they have blatantly said this is PS3 and Xbox 360. Um, you know, we are living in a time where you know, these, you know, Microsoft and Sony are trying to push their, their next gen consoles yeah. and then you have a, a major ip like borderlands that is putting out a, a title for the previous gen consoles i mean does, is this basically 2k's way of saying you know what we have no faith in this generation's consoles and we're just going to put in a tried and true council market i mean it, it, it's interesting i mean it's definitely mm-hmm. something to think about it also it or it could be that this game has been in production for a while now and it was designed around these consoles and you know maybe it was maybe development started at a time when the Xbox 1 and the PS4 were just still kind of rumor you know they weren't they were obviously coming but not yeah but not that would exactly. mean that this game had to have been in development like at least 2 years ago and that seems that that seems a little off i don't i don't think that's yeah. the case i think they're they're basically saying you know we don't want to we don't want to port to these consoles yeah, I, well, it, they would have to change the entire back-end architecture of the game, too. Mm. You know, because uh, the PS3 and the Xbox 360 are um, are uh, power PC CPUs versus the Intel CPUs the Xbox One and the PS4 is. Yeah, yeah. But, I suppose, well, but then it's on PC, so it's Intel. I don't know. <laughs> I don't, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> And I, I keep thinking in my head, man, I can't believe we're still living in a generation where it's just so hard to port games, uh, you know, from a 360 yes. to a 1. I mean, it's you figure a lot of these, even the consoles that are coming out, you know, a lot of them are essentially super-powered PCs. You know, mm. so it's just so interesting to see that there, there is still that, that curve oh, yeah. there, mm. you know. And it, it kind of makes me wonder, it's like, is there ever going to be a point where that curve does not exist i think going forward it will um but there's something with the 360 and ps3 that's obviously incompatible totally with the intel version you know the xbox one and the ps4 um the x uh, i think the 64 architecture there um is obviously much different so i kind of get that but but I, I see from here on forward, because we're not going to go back to uh, PowerPC CPUs for these consoles. I think mm-hmm. it's going to maintain Intel architecture or AMD, whichever, you know, whatever they're using. Yeah. Um, so I think going forward will be easier. I know Microsoft, it's rumored out there that they are actually working on an emulator for 360 games on the Xbox One already. Um that that's I mean that that in my book was a given at some point. 
Obviously, I knew we, you know, we knew it wasn't going to come uh, out. Least, it's, it's hard to say that's a given. I mean, they they said they were going to do the same thing with Xbox One titles, and they basically released like a handful of playable X not not Xbox One. I really shouldn't say that. Uh, the original Xbox. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When the 360 came out, I mean, they said that they were going to have backwards compatibility for a lot of the original Xbox titles, and they only really had a handful of games, and they never really worked on that much since. After that, they started having it where you could buy the games online and download them, and that would have direct compatibility, obviously. But I think that's going to be the same thing here, is you're going to have to download them from uh, Xbox Live. It's awful. That means you're going to have to rebuy all your titles. That's not yeah. really backwards compatibility at that point. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I hear you on that. It's definitely... It, that's it's, the Nintendo way. <laughs> oh, Nintendo. Yeah. They can't. They can't even pull a console out of their ass at this point. <laughs> to I don't know, dude. Times have we all fucking. How many times have we all re fucking purchased Final Fantasy IV? Be honest. <laughs> no. I uh, have not actually. But I don't think I've bought the first one. <laughs> Here's the thing, though. When it comes to Nintendo, I mean, we've been counting Nintendo out since GameCube, and yet somehow they're still around. I mean. Yeah. You know they well, they fair, market the, the Wii... they market to a niche market and they know that they have our nostalgia and childhood firmly in the palm of their hands and that's what keeps us coming back. <laughs> and the Wii the Wii was at a perfect price point when the 360 and the PS3 came out that it just it made sense for a lot of people. Oh, especially consider what the original PS3 was marketed for. Oh yeah, God, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean the, the PS3 yeah. was expensive. <laughs> so since we've diverted, diverted so far off topic, let's go into our Steam box. Into the Steam box. Into the Steam box. Into the box. Steam box. Let me get the graphic going because you caught me on that one. I did. I, I, I did, seriously, huh? I seriously feel like this show is like. Let's see if we can rush into sections and make Scott not be able to put the uh, <laughs> title bar up in time. You guys are fantastic <laughs> for that, by the way. Uh, Sin Center Steam box. Go ahead and host. All right, DJ, what the fuck have you been playing this week? Dude, uh, <laughs> according to Steam, okay. I have played 26.8 hours of Farming Simulator <laughs> last week. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Yeah, so lots of Farming Sim. Uh, I've, I've been uh, recording a super series of Farming Sim, and I, I threw in a couple episodes of... Uh, some train simulator too. I mean, go to the basics. I love the basics. You just can't go wrong with them. What about? Uh, and I, then besides that, of course, I was doing the the real life Rust simulator. So, really, I find it hard to believe that anyone would consider a simulator the basics. And simulators are, are generally <laughs> known as being difficult. Yeah. Not sure that would count. As okay, basic. now now. I, I had, like, one of those holy shit moments. I was reading a wiki about something in Farming Simulator while I was plowing a field. Now, Linux, <laughs> did you realize that there there's a couple sewing machines uh, that also cultivate? Yes, I did. I did not know that. And I was just like, it go, fucking blew go. my mind. I'm like, huh? They're about <laughs> a year and a half old now, but go watch my old videos. I, I, it's in there. Somewhere. Dude, ah. your videos are yeah. still getting comments and watched <laughs> to this day. You haven't maintained that that fucking let's play in like a year, and yet it still gets more freaking attention than anyone else. Clearly, we're doing something wrong. I'm just no saying. No Lotro DJ this week. No Lotro. No, no. Have you given Lotro, up on Lotro? Just uh, farming simulator. Oh, lots of farming simulator. Lots of train simulator, and then um. Yeah. Oh, actually, the uh, the the Lotro seventh uh, year anniversary is coming up, so you know I'm gonna be playing a lot of that coming up. But I'm I'm just I'm loving some tractor. Gotta get my tractor on. You gotta get the tractor on. <laughs> what does the farmer yeah. say? Corn, 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 corn. Anyways, Scott, what have you been playing? Oh boy, I've been playing a wide uh, plethora. Uh, of With gaming. himself, eh? uh, apparently yes, myself. Uh, you didn't have to do the jerking motion too. Come on, man. <laughs> uh, I've been playing some Elder Scrolls Online. I have not been playing it as much as I would like to, but I have been playing it. Uh, I've been playing a lot of Minecraft this mm. week. A lot, a lot. I've been uh, working on an <laughs> F. 
I've been working on a Feed the Beast Unstable uh, Let's Play, which I'm going to put on my personal channel. And uh, we... Unstable? Uh, unstable. It's uh, 1.7.2. Uh, but yeah, I've been playing a dirty. lot of that. Uh, I've also been playing the... Uh, what was that? Monaco last week, which we streamed. We played Team Fortress 2, Marvel Heroes, uh, GoldenEye Source. Now that one I've been playing with pretty much by myself. And like... Whoever wanders into this one server that the the, the game has, uh, and uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. Oh, uh, Streets of Rage on my 3DS. Excellent, excellent, nice. What I've been playing this week? Not much of anything, to be honest. Um, today, uh, right now, um, I know. Last week and this past week, and. Monday and Tuesday of next week, we've been doing. Uh, I've been helping my boss do some uh, waxing of floors. That sounds totally bad. You've been but, waxing you know. your wood. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but um, so I've been working. You're like mature. Eighteen or so hour days, so it sucked. Um, <laughs> but played a little bit of uh, Minecraft today with Scott. We. Um, Oh, okay. had some unfortunate events. Minecraft. We had to end a series of uh, Magic Farm Skyblock we were doing. Unfortunately, some uh, one of the updates corrupted something and couldn't really figure it out. So we did the next best thing. But I'm not going to tell you that, so you're going to have to go watch it to figure that out. Yeah, you should watch it. It's, Ooh, uh, it's pretty epic. <laughs> Um, but other than that, I played did you a... go out in DJ style? <laughs> You'll no. see. You'll see. No. Fucking Hiroshima, uh, the entire island gone. <laughs> uh, Assault that, Flores yeah. says you've been playing Floor Waxing Simulator. Interesting. Interesting. Nah. I should record it on Monday then. <laughs> oh, Linux, Wax real quick. On. Linux, oh. I have to tell Wait, you this. And this is the perfect section to tell you about this. I was going <laughs> to buy Goat Simulator on Friday. I kid you not. Something, I don't know what it was. I think it was one of your videos. Uh, I watched it, and I watched a couple of other of these goat simulator videos, and I'm like, man, this looks fun. I'm gonna, You know what? And I told myself, I'm not going to buy this game. There's no reason. All these videos out there, there's plenty of videos that I can take. I pretty it much see everything. It, like, it's very gimmicky. It looks like something like after 20 minutes, you're just like, okay, I'm just doing the same thing. Exactly. No, exactly. It, it's exactly what it is. Your your it's whole point is to bucks. do That's achievements. That's my, yeah. <laughs> I... I, you know, I almost believed it was worth the 10 bucks. I literally got to the point oh, where I was, I clicked on the game and I went to add to cart. And Steam <laughs> crashed. <laughs> Steam sign. crashed. It's a sign, man. And I, sign, huh? I took that as a sign and just said, you know what? <laughs> not going to buy it. Not, not going to do it. So Steam <laughs> saved me 10 bucks this week. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. At some point this week, I will get another episode of that out. Uh, oh, that, please do. I had fun please playing do. that first episode, but I need to get more of that. Um, Florist, my channel is Swenson Gaming. Type you it just in do chat. Search. Yeah. God, um, you whore. I know. I have to whore it here and there. You know what it is. Yeah, you use our LNS account to retweet <laughs> your videos. Dick. <laughs> Jeez. I did that a few times. Well, you put him in charge of Twitter. <laughs> hey, you see, see. It's an advantage I have slightly. I see. Um, <laughs> it's called whoring. You're but whoring that, yourself. I, I remember when people put videos, videos on the LNS YouTube. Those were the days. God. I, know. <laughs> I remember when we kept talking about trying to do multiplayer games. That was great. Really yeah. liked about yeah, those, those were good days. Yeah, too. those were good days. Hey, hey, know? hey. Fuck, fuck you, DJ. We've been putting content up, thank you very much. Yeah. Every, other, every Tuesday and Thursday, there's been the Castle Crashers. Thank you very much. <laughs> But she's never a part of because he's all like, I'm going to go home to my wife. Fuck you guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not go home. It's uh, She's old. I'm, I better go now. Fuck it. Ah. Oh. Um, other than that, I've, a little bit of uh, a little bit more uh, um, pocket uh, trains, but that's about it. <laughs> so... Uh... I don't know if you guys saw the interaction on Twitter earlier. I've somehow covertly uh, convinced Randark's wife to uh, start budgeting 
And at the same time, I told her yeah. it's a good idea, you know, if they want to, like, sell her house and get, you know, all this stuff and make a lot more money, that she's going to have to cut back Randark's gaming budget. And so now she's, like, got budgeting software, and she's going to be tracking his gaming, and I'm just like, this is fucking funny. <laughs> no Jesus. wonder why he's not on a fucking podcast. Jesus. He's Don't probably not him. even allowed to touch Don't tell him. Don't All right. tell him. But I got his wife watching you. <laughs> Wow. Be a few money. things to uh I don't know whether to call you a dick or to call you a hero. <laughs> it's a fucking subtle joke, but it's so funny cuz you know, it's going to take weeks to play out before you know he comes up and be like, "DJ, you're a dick." <laughs> yeah. And, and thanks to your confession on this show, he's going to know exactly who to go to. Ah, he did. Nobody watches this, even us. Uh, okay. Yeah, no, can, only can, you. Can. Only you don't watch us. You fucking slacker. Anyway, uh, in chat, Ricky Stardom says that the Wii U is the new Virtual Boy, and no, that is completely and utterly incorrect. Uh, if you have followed Nintendo for a long time, you would know that the Virtual Boy sank way faster. Yeah. Than the, <laughs> way faster. There is a very I, wide difference between the I'm Virtual Boy and the Wii U as far as success Wii rates. U. The Wii U. Because, you know, my kids are getting into gaming now, so mm -hmm. that's probably the, the next thing that I will get. So... My speaking, of, my nephew has a Wii U, and um, it's pretty interesting because you can play everything through the gamepad there. And uh, so, like, he'll be just, you know, my parents will say, "Oh, we we want to watch TV or whatever," because my sister lives with my parents, and uh, he just goes, you know, off playing the game on the on the gamepad. Uh, it's it's pretty interesting, I think. Um, he can watch YouTube videos and stuff <laughs> off of it too. He does. Yeah. Um, it's. Definitely an interesting thing that I actually didn't know you could. I knew it was like a second screen thing, but I didn't know you could actually play the actual physical game. Yeah, well, that was one of the big marketing things when the, when the Wii U first came mm. out is that you can free up your TV and play the games right on the gamepad. Yeah, um, that and that, that's, that's really the big difference between the Virtual Boy and the Wii U. The Wii U actually isn't a bad system. Virtual Boy was destined to fail the moment it left <laughs> the fucking factory. Yeah, uh, that that's really the big difference between the two. Uh, let's see. In chat, we have uh, Gunther Corp says this week. I wonder why I paid so much for DLC Quest. I see what you did there. Uh, <laughs> Ricky, uh, Ricky has been playing uh, Rocksmith 14, uh, Need for Speed Shift 2, big fucking surprise. Uh, Counter Strike Source and uh, a bunch of other crap. I'm not gonna read. Playing Rocksmith, Jesus Christ. You know, I actually got a chance to play Rocksmith, and it's not bad. It's just it's hard if you're used to... It's like Guitar to, Simulator, right? <laughs> it essentially is. It essentially is. It, that's almost exactly what it is. Uh, Assault Florist has been playing Elder Scrolls Online, Borderlands 2, uh, Diablo Reaper of Souls, and Crisis 2 Ultimate Edition. I really got to get back into Crisis 2. That's a great game. Uh, Leper Keeper has been playing Zombies on a Plane. There's motherfucking zombies on this motherfucking plane! <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't help myself. Uh, Goat Simulator, Kerbal Space Program, and... Far too much Diablo 3 Reaper of Souls. I really got to get Reaper of Souls. Damn it. Um, and, of yeah, course, Salt Floor is. says, oh, and my son is making me, uh, making me play Skylanders. Mine, too. Uh -huh. I understand that all too well. <laughs> uh, funny thing about my son, though, he owns the Skylanders, but he doesn't own the actual game. He just likes playing with the toys. Oh, yeah, my, my kids have already started collecting that shit. I'm yeah. like, I don't even know what the fuck. It's, it's plastic. It's retarded. It's 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 action figures, essentially. Yeah. yeah it's, 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 it, well, I mean, it's just, it's, it, you go into Toys R Us, and it's like they fucking oh, it's force everywhere. it down your throat. It's everywhere. Like you walk in, and it's like Skylanders. Dude, like, it's not even just. Where did they put the Legos? They moved the Legos <laughs> to put the Skylanders in. That's how big it is, so. It's not even just uh, Toys R Us. I mean, even at GameStop, there's a huge section dedicated to Skylanders. Uh, Target has a huge section dedicated to Skylanders. I think fucking McDonald's is giving that shit away. Yeah, like, yeah. The, <laughs> the Toys R Us, me or not the Toys R Us, the Kids Meals. Uh, they yeah, have someone's Skylanders. marketing campaign is way too big. So. <laughs> and it, it's working. I mean, it has so, to at uh, least work. It's two the, things before we move on. Uh, yes. In Steam right now, some guy I follow named Herp Derp Man is playing <laughs> Extreme Fishing 2K14. Fantastic. I don't even know what the fuck that is, but that just sounds like something I should be playing. It's a sim game, right? 
Yeah, and the other thing is, I actually won a copy of uh, Monaco this week for free. Nice. <laughs> the game's actually content. not too bad. It's actually not so, that bad at all. We gotta throw yeah. down. That looks like a fun game. So now that I own a copy, haha, I can play. <laughs> so speaking of being a cheap bastard, and winning games. Oh, I see what you I did. See there. What I did. Yes. 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 You watching? You watching? Um, do you it, watching? Do it! Do it! Do it! You cheap bastard! Yes. Uh, oh my god. Echo in there, Steam Weekend Madness Sale: The Dalek Super Bundle. 77% off at $49.99. This includes... Is this all in one bundle? Jesus. Yep. 1954 Alcatraz, a new beginning, Final Cut, Black Arts Deluxe Edition... 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 <laughs> edition... Edition... Um, I can tell you. Is that spelled wrong? Or is that... Okay. Chaos of Deponia. Deponia. Goodbye, Deponia. Fuck you, Deponia. And Journey of a Roach, Memoria, and Night of the Rabbit. Yeah, that's, that was supposed to be... Uh... Blackguard's Deluxe Edition. Not... Yeah, Edition. Uh, yeah, somebody edition. put an extra A in there. Okay. Once again, fuck you, Deponia. Well. Oh my god. Uh, fucking Doom Kitten bought me Deponia, <laughs> gifted it to me. It was like, here, I know you hate adventure games, but try this. It's pretty neat. Huh? Oh my god, I, I never made it out of the fucking apartment. Like, the fucking beginning. St- apartment. I could not get out of the apartment. And Doom Kitten was just laughing her ass off. And I'm like, <laughs> she thought it was fucking hilarious that I couldn't escape the house that I was in. I was like, if this was a fucking Hitchhiker's Guide, I would have been blown up with the fucking <laughs> planet, right? Okay, Humble Bundle. This week, the Humble Bundle PC and Android 9. There's still two days left. You get Broken Sword 2, Bridge Constructor, Type Writer, that's a fun game. Uh, Raven Sword, Shadowlands, uh, type writer, and then no, Typewriter. <laughs> yes, Typewriter. That's what I said. Okay. Uh, if you pay more than the average, which right now is three dollars ninety-two cents, uh, you can get Kingdom Rush and Knights of Pen and Paper Plus One Edition, the Shiva Savant Ascent and Cider Arcade. <laughs> Did you misspell these, or is that really how? No, they're... that's how they're spelled. Okay. Uh, the only one I know out of that list is Knights of Pen and Paper Plus One Edition, which is a fantastic game. It's just like a fucking goof off of a bunch of people playing D and D. You know, complete yeah, I... with smart aleck comments and slapping. Like that's how fucking fantastic that game is. Yeah, I actually really like that game myself. Uh, and then, of course, we also have the Humble Bundle Weekly Sale. It still has four days left. That is uh, Surgeon Simulator 2013. Good fucking game. Guacamole. Not played it, but... Guacamole! Guacamole. Wop for Android. And if you pay more than $6, you get Speedrunners and Gary's Mod. If you're a douche and you pay more than $10, you get probably Archery. And if you pay more than $15, you've spent way too much money because you get State of Decay. (laughs) (laughs) So. (laughs) Lots of sales, depending... Mm-hmm. Question mark. Uh, out of those, which do you guys think is the best bundle? Uh, good question. Um, well, Humble Bundle Weekly has Surgeon Simulator, and that's probably the worst game ever in history. <laughs> uh, if you're really looking to just completely wreck some shit, uh, yeah, it's... it's I, I've played, I, I think the Humble Bundle is probably the best for me, at least, mm-hmm. I played Surgeon Simulator, did a let's play on it, a little bit, and let me tell you, I'm surprised my keyboard wasn't broken in half. After that, yeah, well, that that's truly one of those things where they were saying, you know, uh, video game violence is actually comes from crappy controls, not actual like you yeah. know, physical violence. In the that camp. sounds about right. Everybody <laughs> should play Surgeon Simulator. Like, <laughs> like perfect makes that quite clear. You know, like... <laughs> Uh, hey, speak- Surgeon, Surgeon Simulator is on sale. Oh, and the Boston Marathon is this weekend, too. Huh? Eh? Uh, no. Too soon? Too soon? No. Too soon. Okay. Uh, <laughs> GOG actually has some pretty interesting sales this week. Uh, Atari and Calypso Mashup is their weekend promo this week. Uh, they got mm-hmm. tons of really good games, uh, 60% and up. Uh, one of them is Blood, a old school DOS first person shooter. You gotta play that. That is, you could light light sticks of dynamite underneath evil monks, 
and watch them <laughs> propel into the air. <laughs> while the whole time you they're going, like, dynamite. You had me at sticks of dynamite. So. Yeah, it's it is amazing. <laughs> uh, Alone in the Dark is also on sale through that. Uh, here we go. Uh, Loco Motion. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The Loco Motion. You know if you get what I'm saying. And lots of roller coaster tycoons and Omerta City of Gangsters. So, head on over to GOG for some really good sales. And like I said, dude, buy blood. You're going to love it. Trust me on this one. You're going to love it. <laughs> uh, DJ, did you see what I put in the doc? Because you had somebody on Steam basically yeah, say, just, fix my fucking internet. I'm uh, just passing messages along. <laughs> Trash Master, you can go kiss my ass. I'm just saying right now. No, no dropped frames. Not shoot the messenger. No dropped frames, and I'm uploading at three megabytes up. Uh, Frizz to Twitch. It, it, it is not. It is not me. You fuckers need to get off DSL. Just yeah. Other than other than the the normal buffering here or there I get from um, Twitch, I didn't notice any stuttering or drop. Bitch. Yep. So. Not me. Not me. I swear to God, it's not me. Anyway, uh, mine's a little staggery, but I only pay fifty dollars for my cable bill, so fucking high five. I pay like <laughs> thirty-five for my cable. Just saying. Uh, <laughs> and I, I got fucking what was it? Uh, I got fifty megabytes down, and uh, what is, I think it's like supposed to be ten megabytes up. So fuck you all, dude. Cincinnati, Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Linux is like hosting a freaking server farm, so he's got like crazy internet <laughs> speed. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and move on to the uh, last section of the show, which is LNS invades. And only one the... person can talk about this section. Yeah, only one person. <laughs> Why? Because no one else bothered to show up. <laughs> that's exactly why. Well, actually, that's not true. That's not true. T- uh, DJ was at the TF2 event, so. I was gonna say, go fuck yourself. Yeah, like, no, no, I'll no, correct no, no, myself. No, 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 no. I'll correct no, myself. We get, move, uh, no, let's just skip ahead to the Thursday event, right? No, 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 no. At we're gonna point. No, 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 point. no. Do it in order. Do it in order. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. I will mute you. I will mute you. <laughs> I will fucking mute you. All right, he's muted. So we're gonna move on to Marvel Heroes. <laughs> on Tuesday, uh, me and Randark played Marvel Heroes, and apparently people didn't check uh, with chat. He, he changed. He, he, he took off his freaking webcam too. He's like, "Fuck this show." Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, you gotta do the dark and order. God damn it. Anyway, uh, so we a couple people that actually thought that we were doing TF2 on uh, what was it on Tuesday, and I was like, "No, no, no." The, the the calendar specifically says we're doing it on Thursday. So a lot of people showed up and were very disappointed. And it was only me and Randart playing Marvel Heroes. And, Dude, people uh, can't read calendars. When are you guys gonna learn? Yeah, no kidding. Uh, no kidding and yet somehow we have a bunch of people in chat right now because of the calendar uh irony so then we uh we did thursday team fortress 2 and dj you can stop being a bitch and you know come back now uh dj's like no fuck you guys am i allowed to talk yes you're allowed to talk now so tf2 why don't you go ahead you run us through it since you clearly have a lot to say about thursday Uh, no 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 At, at one point Scott said, and I quote, "Man, you're getting good at this game." I didn't say you were getting like, good at the game. Fucking like achievement unlocked. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't say that. I did not say that you were getting good at the game. But I will admit, you actually make a really good scout. I, I there was a, a point where it was me and DJ versus Randark and some random person in the room who was really annoying. Might I add, some dude ironically named Brad. But ironically named Brad, yeah, it has nothing to do with Twin Brad because Twin Brad would have had a lot more decency. Um, but yeah, <laughs> so uh, we were we were doing capture the flag on oh god, what was that two fort? I think it's called. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I was actually just about to capture the briefcase, and Randark starts breathing down my neck, shooting at me, and I thought I was dead. I thought I was dead. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> I see in, in chat that uh, Randark died to DJ Pimp Daddy's shotgun uh, as a scout. <laughs> and I was just like, oh my god, you saved my life, DJ! <laughs> I'm running for the briefcase, and then I see Randark just raping Scott, and then I just blast him in the head as I ran by, and then just grabbed the briefcase and kept running. So. Yeah. 
Apparently uh, that's a save. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, basically we got the capture because of DJ Pipteddy. I'm like, God damn, I hate to say this, but DJ, you were actually being a valuable teammate right now. <laughs> <laughs> all hell has broken look. Uh, all hell has broken loose. Um, by the way, uh, Ricky says in chat that uh, it's Thrash Master, not Trash Master. I know what I said. I know what I said, bitch. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I, I'm sticking with what I said first. Um, yeah, TF2 was a lot of fun. We streamed it the whole time uh, that was on Twitch. I don't know if we're actually going to put that onto our YouTube channel. I'll leave that kind of up to you, Linux, if you want to do that. Um, but yeah, it was it was a fun night, and definitely you guys need to get involved with that. Uh, we're probably going to do TF2 again, not next week, but the week after. Uh, and it'll probably be that same Thursday as well. Uh, but this Thursday, uh, we're we going to go ahead and do more. Golden Eye Source. Uh, I finally convinced these bastards to play with me, and uh, <laughs> we're we're gonna do we're gonna do it on Thursday at 9 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. Central. Uh, so get a, get with us on that. Well, there'll be a calendar event that'll have our Game Box information, so you can join us on Game Box, and Woo-hoo. it'll be it'll be a fun time. It'll be a fun time by all. So excellent. And I think that's pretty much it, isn't it? That's it. That's, yeah. that's what she said. Oh. Eh? 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 All right, then. So let's go ahead and close out the show. Uh, you can find our website at www.latenightsteamer.com. You can find our YouTube channel over at youtube.com slash late night steamer. Swinson Gaming. Uh, yeah, Swinson Gaming, <laughs> apparently. Uh, you- <laughs> And, of course, Survivor Gaming as well. Uh, which, by the way, I thought it was hilarious that you made a gaming channel after I made a gaming channel. Yeah, Swenson Gaming. Yeah. I know. And, Could, and, couldn't be more original with your mine's, name? Mine's a hundred times better. It, 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 apparently it is. <laughs> apparently it is. Drone. Apparently it is. If you are looking for NASCAR... Do a game off. If you're looking for NASCAR and, and beer drinking, Linux's channel is perfect for you. Well, I was going to say, first one, first one to 1,000 subscribers, but yeah, if he's doing NASCAR videos, he's going to attract screwed. all the fucking low life, so... Yeah, he's getting all those, like, redneck people that can't play video games, so they're going to watch it on YouTube. <laughs> 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 hey, there are junior fucking faces again. Oh, man, look at that boy. He's making another left turn. I'm doing NASCAR. I might as well add... Uh... Farming simulator back in exactly. the back. Exactly. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. I'm screwed. I am Woo! screwed. Yeah! Get on it. I am screwed. All right, oh so I'm closing God. my and channel. You, uh, a Cabela hunting game too. You know? Oh boy. Do the trifecta of the fucking you know. The All right, so you can find our Steam community at steamcommunity.com/group/late-night-steamer. Has a built-in calendar that'll let you know when we're streaming live uh, or doing uh, multiplayer events. You can find us on Twitter at twitter.com slash lnsteamer, and of course on Facebook at facebook.com slash latenightsteamer. Uh, stick around. I'm going to stop the stream, but when we come back, we're going to play some Super Meat Boy, or I'm going to play some Woo-hoo! Super Meat Boy, and you can watch as I decimate my 360 controller playing that game. <laughs> uh, you can also uh, join us while we're, we're talking about it by going into our Gamebox channel, uh, which I will post the link on to chat right now. Because, honestly, I'm going to need chaos to stay sane after playing this game. (laughs) Uh, If you do not have GameVox, GameVox GameVox.com. It's a fantastic voice chat service. We love it. Uh, We can't use anything else. Because, hey, fuck TeamSpeak. (laughs) (laughs) Alright, guys. Which is not our sponsor this week. (laughs) Not our sponsor, but it should be. I wish it was. Alright, guys. We will see you next week. Bye-bye. Bye, motherfuckers. Bitches.